In this video, I'm going to draw on the graphs Kn, where n equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So to draw those graphs, I'll start by looking at the following information. A complete graph on n vertices denoted by Kn is a simple graph that contains exactly one edge between each pair of distinct vertices. So in this case, we are asked to draw Kn. We are asked to draw a complete graph with one vertex, two vertices, up to six vertices. So for the first one there, we are looking at a complete graph which is one vertex. So one vertex, I'll just draw the vertex there and that's the complete graph. If we have one vertex, there is no possibility of having any edges there. So that graph there, which just has a vertex V1, is a complete graph with one vertex. I now go on to K2. For K2, we are looking at a graph which has two vertices. So we want a simple graph which has two vertices. So I will have my vertex 1, vertex 2. And uh, we draw an edge between those two vertices. So we have that edge there. So this graph is now complete. It's a simple graph that contains exactly one edge between the pair of vertices there, V1 and V2. I now move on to the next. We are now looking at uh, n equals to 3. So it's K3. For K3, we'll be looking at a graph which is three vertices. So I have my vertex 1. A vertex 2, a vertex 3. And uh, for it to be a complete graph, it is to be a simple graph, and we will have exactly one edge between each pair of distinct vertices. So I will look at an edge between V1 and V2, and then an edge between V1 and V3. So those are the edges that contain a V1. We look at uh, possible edges where we have the V2. So we have a V2. V3. And now the graph is complete. We are having exactly one edge between each pair of distinct vertices. I now move on to the next one. We are now looking at n equals to 4. So we are looking at K4. For K4, we are having a graph which is four vertices. So I'll draw my vertices V1, V2, V3, and V4. For those vertices, I'll then go on and draw the edges. So looking at vertex 1, we can look at an edge between V1 and V2, an edge between V1 and V3, an edge between V1 and V4. So those are the edges where we are considering V1. I now move on to looking at the V2. When you are looking at V2, the possible edges, it is an edge between V2 and V1. It's already there. V2 and V3. V2 and V4. And we are done with uh, the edges that have uh, the V2. Now go on to vertex V3. The possible edges, it can have an edge with V1, it's already there. An edge with V2, it's already there. An edge with V4. So I would write the V4 there. So what we are now having there is we are having one edge between each pair of distinct vertices. So that's the complete graph, which is four vertices. I will now move on to the part where we now have K5. For K5, we are having a graph which is five vertices. So I'll have my V1, my V2, my V3, and V4, then a V5. We want an edge between every distinct pair of vertices. So I'll start by looking at a vertex 1 there, V1 with V2, and then V1 with V3, and then V1 with V4, and V1 with V5. And those are the edges when we are looking at V1 and another vertex. Then we go to V2, V2 and other vertices. We have V2 and V1, it's already there. V2 and V3, V2 and V4. V2 and V5. So those are the edges where we have the V2 there. I now move on to the V3. We look at the edges that have V3. V3 with V1 is already there. V3 with V2 is already there. Then we have a V2 with V4. 
v3 with v5 so those are the edges the way we have a v3 i now move on to vertex 4 4 we will be looking at 4 with 1 is already there 4 with 2 is already there 4 with 3 is already there so we need a vertex of v4 with v5 so v4 v5 there so those are the possible edges between the distinct pair of uh, vertices so what you are now having there is a complete graph and that has uh, five vertices i now move on to the next part where we now have our n being equals to six so we'll be looking at uh, k6 so for k6 we'll be having a graph that is six vertices so i will draw my vertices there v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 and then go on and uh, draw an edge between a pair of distinct vertices so we'll be having between v1 and v2 v1 and v3 v1 and v4 v1 and v5 v1 and v6 so we are having an edge between v1 and the other vertices so we are done with v1 move on to v2 v2 with v1 is already there so we now move on to v2 with v3 v2 v4 v2 v5 v2 v6 so those are the edges where we have v2 and the other vertices i now move on to v3 v3 with v1 is already there v3 with v2 is already there so we look at v3 v4 and then look at v3 v5 and then look at v3 v6 so those are the possible edges where we have the v3 and another vertex we now move on to v4 for v4 with v1 is already there v4 with v2 is already there v4 with v3 is already there so we need v4 with v5 and then v4 with v6 so we are done with the edges where we have v4 we now move on to v5 v5 with v1 is already there v5 with v2 is already there v5 with v3 is already there v5 with v4 is already there so what you need is v5 with v6 so that's v5 with v6 so what you are now having there we are having exactly one edge between distinct pair of uh, vertices so those are the complete graphs where we have one vertex two vertices three vertices four vertices five vertices and six vertices